Thank you for joining us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. I am Ife Olua Oshuke, and today is not your regular as I have a special guest with me in the studio. Our guest is a 35-year-old creative artist and Lagos resident who hails from Bayosa State, Nigeria. He considers himself a storyteller who uses the media of film and music to express himself. He was one of the housemates of the Lockdown Season 5 2020 edition of Big Brother Niger. He lives by the words, nobody is promised tomorrow. Make the best use of the present and live life to the fullest. He considers himself an antisocial and a child of grace as was evident during his stay in the Big Brother house. Is a literally is literally a cat with nine life and it, as he survived nine eviction nominations before his glorious exit from the Big Brother house. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without further ado, welcome Mr. Tranquility himself, Timmy Sinclair. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tranquility. 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 But won't be tranquility today because we're about to <laughs> recover you know that thank right you, thank you yes, thank you yes. sir thank what's you, good sir. man what's good i'm good i'm good what was your secret like i said you're a child of grace man you kept mm -hmm. you know jumping one or two from one to another and you yeah. kept surviving yeah. how did yeah. you do that you already said it i'm a child of grace it's grace mm. it's grace all the way you know you know when god has your back it comes through for you like steady it comes through for you so yeah that's it. That's a secret. Amazing stuff. So you are one of the most put together housemates in the Big Brother Niger house. How were you able to maintain your cool? Because I can remember even when Dorothy tried to pull some stunts. You know, you're all looking like, who be this one? <laughs> you know, how did you pull that off? Um, first off, um, I think every man should have one thing, and that's discipline, discipline, commitment, loyalty. Those are those are like the things that I I'll say are my core values. You know, mm -hmm. discipline, loyalty, and um commitment so i already have i'm in a relationship okay yeah so for me there's no way i would i would um be in a relationship and come into the house and then continue you know or start something different or something new mm -hmm. it doesn't work with me i'm not I'm not cut like that so yeah that's why that was, that was it for me all right so being a creative right if yeah. given the chance to shoot a movie now about a pressing issue in nigeria what movie what what would that issue be that you would focus on in your movie ha ah, one one topic that i would really focus on right now in my movie would be what i'd say i'll talk about um issues related to the niger delta where i'm from Mm. That's what I'll talk about, like right now. So, w which of the issues? Because we know there are a lot of issues that plague Niger Delta. Yeah, yeah. Which the one underdevelopment, the poverty, the underdevelopment. You know, it's it's really sad because I feel like you know, with so much resources from that region, so little is happening there. So, I believe that you know, if I had to make a first movie about a present issue in Nigeria, that is what I would focus on right now. All right. So you're regarded as one of the, by the fans, of course, as one of the most underrated housemates in Nigeria. I mean, in the Big Brother house, yeah. How did how does that make you feel? Do you think that's true, or was that a game plan for you? Was that what? You, was that your intention when you went into the house? Well, you know, the fans. I really don't know what they mean by most underrated, but I would say that probably they thought that I wouldn't last this long. You know, probably I would go out in the first, second, third, or fourth week. Mm -hmm. But you know. I stayed until the semi-finals, you know, first day of the last week. That's when I left. So I don't know if it's underrated, but I would say it's all part of God's plan. It was God's plan for me to go in this year and stay for nine weeks. That was the plan. Chikiti has a famous fall. <laughs> every <laughs> Sunday. I have to fall. <laughs> you know, you know it's every, that fall is, every, every time I'm standing, my yeah. spirit has left my body. Mm. Because you don't know if I'm going home or not. So that falling down, my spirit is actually coming back. <laughs> Like, right. oh, you're still here for another seven days. So was it know? a shock to you? Did, at some point, did you think like, okay, yeah, Tricky, you've done enough. It's time to leave. Or you just felt like, ah, where do we go? Or, you know, we die here. Was it that? No. What, what, what was the vibe going on in your head? Were you like, okay, yeah. Was, it, was there a point where you gave up completely? Oh, I didn't give up. But for me, every time that I escaped eviction, it made me um, understand the value of a single day in Big Brother's mm. house. That's one thing I would say. So for me, I'm like, okay, since I escaped this Sunday, next Sunday, my no escape. Oh. Mm. So this week that you have, make use of every day, you know, the best way you can. So that was, that was like what really kept me going through the weeks. And of course, I'll just partition my brain. I just forget about eviction and enjoy the week. Then on Sunday, like, hey, Sunday has come. <laughs> I might be going home. Yeah, so so that, what that are some me. of the improvements you made on yourself week in, week out 
ex escaping eviction? Improvements. Yeah. Uh, I'll say probably maybe, I don't know if improvements, but I'll say learning, learning stuff in the house. Because every time in the house, we were meant to do different things. I became a mm. tailor, became a cook. Mm. I don't like cooking. I started cooking. Uh, <laughs> started, started, um, okay, I've been doing, I've been directing, so that was natural for me. Mm. Started, I've been doing music, that was natural for me. Um, started painting, I don't paint, I had to paint, you know. So for me, every week was a time where I actually learned something, you know, learn something new and, you know, learn about something new, like mm. a couple of things happened in the house. So, so I'll say that was how it was for me. Okay. So house. you lived in the north for a bit during your youth service. And yes, yes. A little yes, bird yes. told me you stayed back for a while after I did, service. I did, I did. And I know most of us, I served in Nemo State, and okay, that's a very, okay. very amicable area, you know. <laughs> but immediately the service was over, I wanted to, Yanti. you know. But you were eager to still stay, and you were, you know, what? why? What is it about the north and Zamfara in particular that you want to share with us? Okay. That maybe I will just go to Zamfara now. Okay. And start first, let me first say this that Nigeria is a beautiful country. Mm. That's what I'll first say because I've traveled a lot to different places. So I've said Nigeria is a beautiful country. Another Nigeria for me is one really, really beautiful place. Mm. Like this is it's cool. You know, I know we have, we have misconceptions, but I'm saying this for real, for real. Nigeria is a beautiful country. So as far for me, I like the vibe. I like the people, you know. Mm. I like the way it was. Was was this like cool? The girls. The girls. No, no, not the girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not the girls. Not the girls. Not, okay. the, not the girls, please. <laughs> Dude, the girls are beautiful. Shout out to the beautiful ladies mm. in Zamfara State. Yes. Mm. So for me, um, I like the people. I like the lifestyle. It's it's almost like simple, simple, stressless. Like I'll tell I'll tell you this. Like when I was serving, mm. you not believe that for a month my feeding allowance was five grand. That was like, wow. that was used to buy food stuff and actually carry me, literally carry me and my guys for the month. That's like daily feeding. Do you understand? So mm. I'll buy food stuff, I'll buy things. Like, 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 I think cost of living is really low, stressless, you know. I, I kind of like, I, I enjoyed it. I like the people there. Shout out to my Zanfara people, Seth. Zanfara, yeah. so, so, so. Well so what love, do you well consider love. your most memorable moment in Zanfara? Ah, I mean, there was one party we had. I won't mm. forget that party. It was a party in my CDS. So after we're done, we're going from my CDS to another party. Mm. In the night, so we went out to like walk on the road and we we're hungry. Me and my guys actually put out our food like this. We had our food in our takeaway packs and we we're walking on the road and we we're just, we were just eating that night. It was so cool. I can't forget you know, my, my home boys. I can't forget that. So we, just imagine you something you can't even do in Lagos, yeah. but you, I didn't there. Nobody really cares. You know, it's just cool. But walking on the road and just eating. We were out for eating rice and chicken on the oh, road. Yeah. So I'm telling you, it was cool. So we had to walk from that party to another party. Then we were done with the party and we couldn't get a bike. We had to now walk back home that night. It was, I can't forget that experience. So yeah. to just summarize this whole experience, simplicity. Simplicity. Amazing. Yeah. Tranquility. Tranquility. Yeah. Yeah. And it's time for a game. And you, everyone who comes to this table knows we always play a game. And today we will be defining words. I hope you're ready, bro. Hey, dear God. Mm. Dear no worries. God. Simple things. Simple, okay, okay, very, okay. very simple okay. things. Tranquility. 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 Yeah. Tranquility. All right. Democracy. Sure. That's your first word. Democracy. Government for the people, by the people, of the people. Give him a round of applause for yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next one is independence. Uh, independence. Ability to stand on your own without depending totally Amazing. Amazing. on someone else. All right. Vicinity. Your, your immediate space, somewhere where you are, where you live, somewhere that's around you, around you. Okay, I'll take the second one, somewhere that is around a particular place. place. So okay. we'll give you half marks. So you've got thank the two you, and a half so far. All right, tranquility. Tranquility. <laughs> calm, be calm, be calm. Amazing. Be cool. <laughs> Shout out. Friendship. Being true to each other, loyalty, you know. I think that can, we can give you anything because that's ambiguous. Yeah. Friendship can be defined for okay. everybody. Yeah. It's relatable yeah. to you in particular. So thank you for playing that game thank you very much. with us. So speaking of friendship, who would you say is the closest person you created a bond with in the Big Brother house? Created a bond with in the Big Brother house? Okay, closest person. Ah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I bonded with a lot of people. I think I bonded with a lot of people. Ah, I don't, I don't know if there's a closest, but I know like I really bonded with a couple of people in the house. I, of course, I'm cool with almost everybody. I'll say everybody. I'm cool with everybody. You know, uh, everybody. All right. Everybody, nice yeah. So what's the reception been like since you got out of the Big Brother house? Have there been any benefits? You know, people called you up, we need you to do this. Tell us, fill us in on your life. Okay, um, first, the love has been amazing. I'm, I'm shocked. Like, I'm shocked, you know. Mm. 
I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Is it me? Is this me? You know, like, like love is. I really don't know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm really grateful for it. So much love from people. So much. A lot of messages from people I don't even know. Thank you for entertaining us. We love you. We are rooting for you. We are this. You know, it makes me feel really, 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 really loved. Um, I'm, of course, um, there are a lot of things I'm working on with my team. A lot of people have been reaching out to, to me and my team. They want to work with us on this, work with us on that. So a lot of things are a lot. I'm trying to keep up. What about, what about the opportunities that have come with this newfound thing? Um, definitely, I intend to use that to the fullest. Um, of course, the, expo the exposure is... You can't, can't really explain it. Like so no pause blood. yet because it's like you're holding back because no, you said, know, I, I a little girl told I, I me that um, somebody is paying for a short film for you. Oh yes, yes, yes. That that that's that's. What's it gonna be about? What is that movie? Oh, I'm working be? on it already. I'm already working on something already. I don't know the cut out of the bag yet, but hey, that's what you yeah. just said from the beginning. You know, a lot of things are coming through. <laughs> all right, all right. Yes, yes, amazing. Yes. So finally, now that you're out of the Big Brother house, what life lessons? would you say you walked away with from the experience of the Big Brother Niger Season 5 Lockdown Edition? Nothing is impossible. Mm. That's the first thing I'll tell any... Like, I don't care what they tell you about your goals in life. Look at them in the face and tell you nothing is impossible. Because getting into the house alone, the odds is like a 0.000.0001% chance of actually getting into the house. They get into the house staying for like nine weeks man so that's my life lesson once you believe it you know you know it's what you want to do you know you have god has your back on it then it's not it's not impossible everything all is right possible all right yeah. and there is a new course in the school of fashion and it's called also 101, 101. and see. nothing is impossible thank you tricky t thank for you, your thank time you, thank you, thank you, thank and you. stay tuned on tea time plus tv africa as we have another guest so do not go anywhere Thank you.